everyone, welcome back. I have been busy sewing and I've created for my last uh, fabric haul, or I should call it my thrift store fabric haul, I've been busy creating bags and I honestly implemented all of them, all of the fabrics, I've used them, and I wanna show you what I've created. So now I am revealing uh, what I came up with. So I just wanna remind you, I don't use any patterns. I don't, uh, you, I, I don't even sketch. I just literally take the fabric Look at it, it inspires me. I do a big no-no in design. I draw on the actual fabric. I don't even create a pattern. Aside from referring to a pattern, I don't even create, um, I don't even refer to one. I don't create one. I just cut and sew. Okay, so maybe it's a gift, it's a talent, I'm not sure, but I wanna show you what I create. Okay, um, that crazy sort of, I don't wanna say crazy, but that very interesting sort of Pucci design, or um, it was like, it reminded me of a Pucci, Emilio Pucci look, or 60s. Um, I created a very basic, just like my last ones, a basic hobo, because hobos, I gotta tell you, are super comfortable. So I made one of these with all fabrics that I found from the haul, okay? And with your inside slip pocket, okay? Basic hobo. So cool. I mean, I think it's such a beautiful pop of color. Being that I was so excited with it, I don't know. It just, it just made me think of, hey, let's add a chain. I created another hobo style, if you can see here. All right. Um, interior, again, black. Okay, with your slip pocket for your cell phone and anything else. And it sits comfortably on your shoulder. And you can even, if you want, have it as a crossbody. Okay, again, sitting comfortably on the shoulder. It's super lightweight, just like the other hobo. Okay, so this again is a hobo style as well. So I had to, uh, since I had so much of it, I had to make a little pouch. And if you see, it is a pouch that is a sort of freeform shape. All right, just what inspired me last minute. Black interior, huge black bow, because why not? Now, when I created this one, I'm telling you, it was like luxe all the way. Um, I brought in this other fabric that I had, and it is an upholstery fabric, if you can see. It's um, beautiful, just beautiful ivory. And I, if you recall, I had, and I chose this navy blue sort of silky satin. And if you look carefully, you'll see all the magnificent and beautiful detail that I have on this. Hand braided coil. Um, I have all kinds of Austrian crystal and um, pearls with these tassels that were actually from a factory that creates for also David Yerman. All right, interior is your navy blue silk satin you know at the end of this video i'm going to do a close-up a quick close-up few seconds of everything that i've created just so you can check it out this is a really cool flat i say crossbody tote really simple um if you love dainty i think this is perfect check it out a little bit of gold i think i mentioned it a little bit of gold and i got to tell you this lace Forgot how and where I sourced it from, but it does come from Greece. All right, simple tote, throw anything you want in it, books, go to the beach with it, awesome. Okay, here is one, all right, I don't wanna say favorite, but this is a really good one. I've implemented, as you can see, a lot of denim, okay? And this was that pink satin with the shimmer, and I gotta tell you, uh, I didn't want to create a bag that was totally pink on the outside because it was just too bridal bridesmaidsy for me. So I braided the handle and it has a stretch to it. And as you can see, I have created these um, amazing, I guess, daisies with these appliques in the front. And I mean, I don't know who wouldn't love this with the interior that coordinates denim comfy, really comfy, stretchy, sort of bungee-ish, very cool. 
Uh, moving on, this is a huge shopper's tote. Uh, I didn't get this denim in my last haul, but what I decided to do was uh, just bring it into my collection, something I created. Huge shopper's tote. Um, when I look at this, I think, listen, it got a little dirty, possibly. Just throw it in the wash. So durable. I added your um, lightweight denim buttons on the side with your zipper, metal zipper, and embroidered detail here. Big shopper's tote, I say. Big outdoor market, having fun. Okay, here's something that shocked me as well, and I really love it myself. I'm kind of like, man, if I was a student, I would sport this in a second. I made a messenger bag, okay? If you remember, um, I, I think I referred to this one as the upholstery fabric. Well, I added a zipper to it with this awesome purple interior. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, um, your applique, because I'm really doing the flower thing, the flower theme right now. Who knows in my next video what I'll be into. Okay, it is a fold over, I, you could say it's a messenger. Throw your textbooks in here, just throw anything in there. It doesn't even have to be a school bag. Zipper it up, okay, throw it in the wash if you want. Very easy, super comfy. You don't even have to wear it over the shoulder. You could just wear it this way. But um, I love this. The second I, I created this, I was just kind of surprised in myself as well. Pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty. All right, more. Um, this one, the more I inspected it, this uh, shimmer one where, remember my niece said it was like a witch. I looked at it and I realized it was denim. And uh, there's like a red fiber that's weaved in it to give it that shimmer. So I figured, I don't know, I was kind of like stumped with it. So I figured I'd create a bucket. Okay, so this bag is a bucket. You open it up, okay? Bucket bottom, I made it oval. Stuff all your goodies in there. I even gave you a nice pocket in there. And then you just pull it up with, again, because I'm doing the flower theme, with your flower decal. And I gave you an Austrian crystal right there. Okay, you can wear this over your shoulder or you can also do awesome crossbody. I find that when I'm shopping, crossbody is just great. I just feel more secure with my bag. It's like on me, uh, better, fits me better. And again, I just feel more secure and it doesn't pull on one shoulder and cause pain. Things that happen as you get older. Okay, um, and last one. If you recall from my, again, uh, thrift store fabric haul, I had those squares, those like, not squares, the rectangles of yellow linen. Callie, can you bring this up a little for me? It was like yellow linen, and I said, hmm, what am I going to do with this? Well, here's what I did. Down again. I'm in pain, I know. All right, I created this tote, and um, I don't need to repeat. It's all about flowers, all right? So we have this, these, all these different flowers, okay? with a, more denim here. And when I was creating it, I kept thinking to myself like, this is like so beachy, like Cape Cod, beachy, and possibly even Capri, because whenever I see yellow and blues, I always think of um, in Italy, Positano and Capri, I don't know why. I put an insert in there. It's just a simple cardstock, or I should say board, that I covered with denim. So if you want it to keep and stay and hold your, um, steady base or bottom you can leave your cardboard in there but remove it if you decide to wash it and how cool was that i don't know i just feel like library like i'm getting on my cute little bike or beach cruiser and i'm off to the library i don't know so cute i was stumped when i saw the um rectangles but i came up with something so here's what i think well, actually, what do you think? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Uh, I worked on this. I think it's like six days, seven, maybe six days. Came up with all these. I think they're amazing. I'm, I'm posting Shopper's them. tote. Messenger bag details. Sort of messenger fold over. These details. Okay. 
Then these, this one is the luxe one I referred to. Just wanted you to see all the handwork that went in there, in here, okay, with the lace. Okay, let's go over here. And good job, good. This is your clasp. Okay. These are upside down. Okay. Your other hobo with the chain. And then the, just the details. I just wanted to give you guys up close details on these appliques and flowers. Hold over, and all the buttons are vintage. I mean, literally made in the USA. I don't think we could say that anymore about other things. All right, let me know, comment. Thanks again.